Good morning, YouTube. Amen. It's Monday, April the 24th. Praise the Lord. And it's only 6.30. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I thank God for um, truly, truly blessing and getting me up this morning. And I'm telling you, I'm just enjoying it. Thank you for your prayers. Um, just, um, we're releasing the blessings all over the place. Thank you, family, for your prayers. Thank you for my prayer warriors. Thank you for our new um, family members that have joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we have a playlist on hand in YouTube Music titled Songs for Devotional Readings. Feel free to uh, send a song um, via email at nh2783.utb at gmail.com or you can leave it in the comments and um, the only criteria the songs the words the lyrics they have to give us light they have to lift us up and encourage our hearts and so I just want to say thank you in advance for sharing thank you for being a part and um, if you're a prayer warrior just come right on board it's very informal just praying for this this channel, whether you peruse the comments, if you see a situation that needs to be prayed over, or even if um, um, someone shares and I share it out, we just pray for one another. And the Lord has been just blessing this time here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Our reading for today is titled, Jesus is My Husband. April the 24th. Our scripture lesson is Isaiah 54, verse 5. Isaiah is from the Old Testament, and it reads, For thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, and, the, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Amen. Amen. Abba, Father, thank you this morning for being able to come before you. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings of each one of us, individually and collectively, waking up to a brand new day. Lord, for some of us, our day begins at the opening of the physical day, the sunrise time, Lord. But Father, there are some of us that are on different schedules and we're on an afternoon schedule or an evening schedule or even a midnight schedule. Father, whenever we get out to go to work or to take care of business that we have to do, Lord, bless us and keep us, Father. But help us, Lord, to remember at the onset of our day, Lord, um, we just encourage each other to remember to talk to you before we begin communicating with anyone else. Father, help us not to pick up our cell phones or other devices, Lord, that might be nearby, Lord. Father, help us to move them away from our bedside. And Lord, upon our awakening, Lord, we talk with you first. Help us to build an intimate relationship with you, Lord, for you are truly our best friend, and Lord, as uh, the topic of the reading is, it lets us know that um, you are our first relationship. You are our husband. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. It says, as a therapist, I see many clients in a week. One Friday morning, I had a five-year-old client to test. He was struggling with attention problems, and his mother wanted him to be tested so she could get the help that she needed in the classroom. As we engaged with his ADHD testing, he kept talking and getting distracted. At one point, he asked me if I had a dad. I knew he meant a husband, and I told him no. He asked if I had children. And I told him yes. Then he told me he would pray for me to get married and have a dad. By this time, I was chuckling to myself. But I was also so thinking about how God works through little children. Well, he prayed in the name of Jesus that God would send me a dad. 
I told him thank you, and then he told me that my dad was waiting at my house. Jesus sent him there, but he was invisible. You can't see him, but he's there. I was amazed at the faith of this five-year-old boy. He didn't understand about life, but he knew that whatever the problem was, Jesus could fix it. I forgot about the prayer as I was busy working. As I was having my evening devotionals, I was lamenting to God about how alone I was and that I wished I had someone who could be there and share my life with me and be with me. And then I remembered that little boy's prayer. God is my husband. He is right here in my house and in my car as I travel. He provides the things I need and takes care of me. He is there to talk to whenever I am lonely. Then I remembered Isaiah 54 from the Old Testament. This is a tremendous scripture for a single woman in this world. Beginning at verse 4, we read, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, hallelujah, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy wid widowhood anymore, for thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And that's Isaiah from the Old Testament, chapter 54, verses 4 and 5. And it continues. Praise God. We never have to be alone. God is always with us. He is our maker and our redeemer. He made us and he saved us from a life of loneliness and shame. Amen. Our reading today was written by Eva M. Starner. Amen. And Abba Father, thank you so much, Lord. Thank you so much for reminding us who you are to us. Thank you for the story of this reading. A little five-year-old boy who may not understand life, but he understands that you are with us always. Father, whether we are male or female, Father, we all suffer in some type of way from the ills of this world. For this young um, woman, this mother, Lord, she was suffering from loneliness, Father, Lord, and for want of someone in her life. Father, we all go through that. Whether you're male or female, Father, sometimes our loneliness is in the midst of having uh, a husband or a wife in our lives, Lord. Father, sometimes just so many things can get in the way. But Lord, we thank you that nothing can become can come between ourselves and you. You are our ever-present, our Father, our God, our Savior, our friend, our comforter, Lord. Father, our lover, Lord, because you love us wholly from the inside out, Lord. You can cause our souls that might be crying out, Lord, to be comforted in peace, Father when we realize and understand and know just how present you are in our lives. Thank you this morning, O oh Lord. In the morning of everybody's day, Abba Father, bless and heal. Father, some of your children that will be listening to this later on today, refresh and release the prayers fresh and anew for each and every one of us at the start of our day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen again. 
Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Family, have a wonderful, blessed day. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to go. I'm so happy, happy, happy to be here with you this morning. I love you, but remember that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you the best. And um, don't be worried or weary of sharing with him all of the concerns of your heart and especially all of your joys. But there may be some of us that may be walking in some sticky water or some sticky mud or feeling like we've had it up to here or you maybe feel like you've had it up to here. But whatever it is, let it go and release it. In my other reading this morning, the scripture lessons um, said to us, um, well, the closeout of it was, and I like to read it, um, it just reminded us um, that Jesus is, he is our shield, he is our refuge, and he is our peace. So those three things that we can, well, always whatever the Lord says, we can always take it to the bank. But he says, I am your shield uh, for all. Take refuge in me. And then he says um, that um, he is our refuge. And the last thing he says, he says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what greater gift can we have today than to be shielded, to have a refuge, and to be free? That is the blessing I send out today. Be shielded, get in your refuge, and walk and live and run and grow in your freedom in jesus name thank you family for being here and um this morning um the song for today that the lord gave me in in my worship time and um it's on the playlist already it's take me to the king sung by tamala man and i just encourage you this morning today um Go in and get it and put it on, if you can put it on right now. And um, go to the king this morning. Amen. Be taken to the king. You know, go to his throne and kneel down. However you can kneel, even if you're standing up and you got to kneel. But submit to the throne of graces this morning. Be taken to the king. Amen. Hallelujah, family. Have a wonderful day. I'm getting ready to go. I'm feeling quite loquacious, but I got to get ready to go to work. Blessed day, everyone. Amen. This is Miss Norma. I'm signing off. And remember that I love you, but the Lord loves you the best and the most. And there is no love like his love. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Mm-hmm.